The second annual motorcycle and car festival for drug awareness is happening this Saturday. Officer Robert Hobart with the Monks Corner Police Department is here and money raised benefits the Ernest E. Kenny Center. Good morning. Thanks so much for being here. Thank Talk you. to me about this festival. So it's a car and bike show for drug awareness. It's going to be this Saturday. All the proceeds go to the Kennedy Center. Wow. Um, basically, um, I believe this month is National Substance Abuse Awareness Month and we're trying to help the community by uh, raising funds for the Kennedy Center. Okay, so do I need to be a car or motorcycle lover to go or is this something that you want the whole fam to come out to? The whole family, it's actually uh, free to come. Okay. The only ones that have to pay are the ones that are putting a vehicle in the show. Okay, so, so. and we were just talking before this that there's a specific reason why you want the kids to come out. Talk to me about that. Yes, so we're doing a law enforcement side. So basically, I have a few departments in the community that are gonna come and put a pol police vehicle in, mm -hmm. and then you can have the kids judge and decide what they think is the nicest patrol vehicle. Really? So if there's any departments that want to come out, they have them reach out to us. That'd and be great. That, that goes for the departments all across the low country. All across this. the low country. Anybody oh, that's that wants so to exciting. come. And so exciting. And will cars and uh, motorcycles be judged separately, I'm yes. assuming? Or? There's going to be trophies, uh, raffle items, food trucks, and jump castles for the kids as well. Okay, so, so. you can go out there, you can get food. Is there going to be music? Um, there is going to be some music, yes. Okay, so it's just going to be a really big fun day to get the whole yes. family out there. My dad would be so upset that he can't put his motorcycle in this weekend, <laughs> let me tell you. And from a law enforcement standpoint, what does this mean in terms of, you know, drug awareness and raising awareness in the community? I, I think it's going to help raise uh, awareness for individuals mm -hmm. and the community itself. It's not just here, it's, it's everywhere, it's a national level. I actually have uh, a couple of different agencies of treatment centers that are to come out and give uh, information out. Okay, and they'll so be there at the They'll be show. there as well. What are some of the I uh, have uh, like mental, uh, Department of Mental Health, MUSC Addiction Services is going to be there. That's just a few of them. Wow. Okay. So. And tell me if I, does it cost money? Is it, do I need a ticket? How would I go about the, making it's sure a, I there? If they want to be in the show, like put a vehicle in the show, yep. it's $20 a day of show. Oh, okay. And but you just show up. Otherwise, you just show up. Oh, that's yep. so exciting. And it sounds so. like it's going to be such a good time. Talk to me about if I wanted to get involved in anything else. Is there a website I should go to? You can go to the Town of Monk's Corner uh, Facebook page, and they have an events tab, events tab, and it's got more information. Fabulous. Well, thanks so much for being here, Officer Thank Hobart. You. We appreciate it, and this is going to be such a fun event. And, of course, we'll always have all of those details for you up on our website at countonto.com.